forward. Ugh, it smells like weed in here. But then again, everywhere in California smells like weed. Um, we're in we're in Hammett, picking up a mini ramp to take back to the house. Um, getting a mini ramp off my coworker Maddie. Shouts out Maddie Johns. And uh, yeah, I hired this U-Haul to go pick up the mini, chuck it in the back, drive it back to the house. So it's going to be a good time. Never had a backyard mini before. It's my childhood dream. But yeah, I'm going to stop yabbing and I'm going to drive this truck. Uh, Sick. Okay. Probably be smart to go around just so we don't have to interfere with the waste line right there. Sick. Cool. Yeah. How long have you had it back here? Like four or five. It was the first thing I did when I moved in. I've lived here like five years, so like five years. Within a couple months of moving in, I built a new house. That was, that was my main, so I just got the quarter inch. That's what I would recommend is just pop like, the top layer off. We're about, I don't know, a third of the way, you reckon? About half. Halfway, got the top sheets off. Just got to work on the bottom sheet here. Pull it apart, and then the ramp should come apart. But uh, so far, it's been strenuous work. <laughs> Save the least. Yeah, we're getting it done. But these screws are all dry yeah. and not rotted in, so they're going to they should come easy. out a lot easier, I think. Oh, thank I, do, God. I do see what you're saying about it being some stars. So we are going to have to. Oh, okay. A little bit of progress made here. Um, yeah, it's been a couple hours, dude. <laughs> we got the quarter out, but yeah. Hardest part was ripping the screws it's not out. Too bad. Yeah. We've only been here for like two hours. Yeah, a couple hours at this point we're in. We just got to figure out how to slide this around there without getting stabbed by those cactuses. So we've got to figure out how to get this quarter pipe through that little gate. That's two inches smaller than the quarter yes. pipe itself. We're, we're defying physics here, guys. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're almost home free with the ramp, but uh, we've got to work around this trailer hitch here. So... Rob reckons we just fucking cut it. Soul's all in and out. Yeah. There's not too many spider webs. I thought there would have been no, way more, huge. dude. <laughs> yeah, they're all. In, oh, really? Yeah, like this whole thing is like they just went in between the trailer and the. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see it now. Damn. We're almost, almost there. Got this ramp, luckily, that comes with the U Haul. Slide it in the back here. Yeah, I need I need a bloody ginger beer. How's Rob getting it done on a broken broken ankle? Only partially broken. Okay, serious. We're better than ever. <laughs> you got an extra. What do you call this? Hang line. You want one? I have one. Oh no, I'm just saying like. Oh, the threshold of the the, oh, the box. I don't know. It's a box that I just like fucking. This slappy like box. It. Add some extra supplies and. Yeah. I cut like a cool shape and then made a box out of it. Oh yeah. It's like a slappy box. I was gonna angle iron this side too. But like I like never ledge, got on, ledge or a rail almost. Yeah, so you can board slide it and you can fucking Yeah, that'd be dope. And then like when you're using it as like an extension, I like to use this side. Yeah, because it's angled. It's like an angle but like more Yeah. But Bit more area. Dope to have angle iron on that would be sick. Get it on the ground or on the yeah. mini. We've got so it all loaded. Just angle iron if you want it. Yeah, if you got it and you're going to give it away, I'll take it. So we're back at it again today out in the backyard. Got the mini ramp situated of where it's going to be. Um, we're just trying to figure out how to level this thing because the ground in the backyard isn't level. But we're going to shim it and figure it out. But this is where we're at so far. This is basically the rough idea. Um, this side looks really good. Pretty level. We put the spirit level on it. But this side is a little bit where the concrete goes to the tile here, a little bit off. So we've got to figure out what we're doing. Got Rob here with me today, helping out again. Thank God, because I would have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, so this is where we're at right now. Looking good so far. It should be a quick process compared to pulling it apart. That sucked. No, we're going to have to shim it. Yeah. Quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of scrap and whatever laying around, so. We're just take level in a couple spots. Yeah, it's the same. I just want to make sure this one wasn't bowed. Yeah. So we found an old deck in the backyard that's uh, seen better days. And we're going to cut the concave off it. Basically the nose and tail to use a flat bottom to shim it. So it's uh, definitely for skateboarding, this ramp. It's going to be shimmed with an old deck. From skateboard to skateboarding. Yeah.
Safety first, kids. Robert here is a professional, so <laughs> we know what we're doing. Oh, we're so certified. Always wear your PPE. PPE. Gloves, safety glasses, hearing protection, all that shit. <laughs> or else you get a call from OSHA. <laughs> Hold this frame. Yeah. And the thing with that is we can always slide it back because it's bigger. Yeah. And it'll start to pick up the front of this ramp. And then by the time we get that up, put the paver under there and we'll just... That honestly might make those two by fours fit perfectly the lane because they're a hair long anyways. Right. <laughs> So we're pretty much at the point we've got it all shimmed and leveled um, and then Rob added in some supports here in the back for the deck so that we don't fall through but we're at the point where we just need to go to Home Depot get some screws and some other stuff and button this all up so so far so good this has been so much easier than pulling it down so we found the right bit of ply it was $30 a sheet basically so that's not too bad considering the ramparts are free. So we're going to go get this cut, grab the rest of the stuff, and then our little Home Depot mission should be complete, hopefully. We've got the plywood, that was the easy part, and then we just got to find someone to cut it for us. Because so we're in the... We're in the back corner. fucking time cards, that says like three hours. Three hours later. Hopefully someone should come soon. So we got everything we needed. Uh, it's probably going to be expensive, so please watch the video and uh, subscribe. Like comment, subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, please. Well, if you would believe it, you can fit four bits of ply inside of a fourth gen forerunner. But uh, this Passengers is a problem. On the other hand, <laughs> We're only got to go a mile, so hopefully we don't get pulled over. <laughs> It'll just wedge perfectly. <laughs> We can still fit, we can still drive the car. Hey, if it fits, it fits. And I just stick my head out the window like this. This is premium comfort. We have all of, <laughs> all of 18 inches if to you work forward with. like this, it's not bad, but then I'm eating <laughs> the steering wheel. A little bit of an update, getting the bottom layer of ply on. Ended up buying a bunch of new ply, as you guys seen. So yeah, this should be pretty smooth from here on. So the bloke at Home Depot done us dirty. I mean, he would have tried to do his best. We wanted three, 33 and a half inches wide and it's a bit over. So the coping isn't sitting in quite as right. So we've got to sawzall it and just eyeball it and go for it. Lucky I have the right man for the job. <laughs> is finally done the first half of this video was a, a physical and mental struggle and the second half of it was just very mental and emotional yes and very emotional 
but it's done. You can definitely feel the ply breaking in. I'm not too sure how or how long it'll take for it to be flush. I like to feel like it's not moving, but you know, have a main ramp in the backyard, so I can't complain too much. It's all fresh from the hardware store, brand new ramp. Yep, top sheet's brand new. So yeah. Well, that one gallon or whatever paint that we bought, that bare paint, uh, terrible paint. Never buy this paint if you're trying to do something you care about. I should have bought kills, but I didn't. But yeah, so that paint down there is pretty much already evaporated. I don't know why it's not catching the ply. It's just kind of, the ply is just eating it. So I've had to do like five layers on each of the faces here. The flat bottom will have to come back to. So yeah, to be continued. Am I going crazy or was this just painted? I went inside for like half an hour and the plywood has just eaten the paint. Look at it. It's like I never even touched it. <sighs> this mini ramp has kicked my ass. First day was a struggle. There were so many points where I was just reconsidering my life's decisions, trying to figure that ramp out. And then second day wasn't as bad, but it was just similar to the first and it was just giving me PTSD. Just editing this video has given me PTSD about the first day. Like in the in this video, it looks super smooth, but we were, it was, it was the opposite of smooth. I'm still trying to get over how strenuous that was, but yeah, stay tuned. Subscribe if you're new. Check out eveningmob.com. Link is in the description. Go and pick up one of these sick hats. And yeah, cheers for watching the video. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up. Don't let nobody out. Oh, get Trigger Man. Bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this Trigger Man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on. I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas Special Order.